as you would have it, many of our youth Talmidei Chachamim were also big Kiru rabbis. One of them, his name was Chafetz Chaim. You guys heard of Chafetz Chaim, right? Chafetz Chaim, heard of him. Recognizable name. Shtabach Shimon. Chafetz Chaim was not only the Baal Mishnah Brua and also the Chafetz Chaim, but he was also an enormous Kiru rabbi. Literally, was willing to go door to door, knocking on people's doors, trying to help them do tshuva. Old man, 100 years old, please, just somebody take me door to door, I'll help him do tshuva. He met one guy one time that was a big donor. It was Mechalel Shabbat. And the guy came to the Rav to shake his hand. Chafetz Chaim shook his hand but didn't let go. And you know, the guy is holding a holy hand. Okay, don't let go. Only problem is he started seeing the Chafetz Chaim starts to cry. Hysterical with tears, mamash tears. And he goes, Kvod Rav, did I do something wrong? What happened? Are you okay? It's so bad, it's so terrible, I can't believe it. It's so horrible, so awful. And he starts crying, somebody's dying. What happened, Kvod Rav? Anything I can do? What? what? No more money? Goes, no, it's so fat, it's so terrible. It's so terrible that this wonderful, generous hand is going to be burned in Gehenom for forever. It's so horrible. Such a generous hand, it's so awful how this generous hand is going to be burned in Gehenom forever. Why, Kvod Rav? You have a Shabbat, what can we do? Uh, it's so horrible, so terrible. He's crying like he's mamash. He sees his hand burning on fire. Okay, okay, for the love, fine, fine. I'll, I'll keep Shabbat. Just give me like five, six weeks to set up my businesses, and then and then and then I'll start keeping Shabbat for the for the love. It's for you. Chafetz Chaim starts crying even more. No way, for the love. No, it's no good. Last two weeks, three weeks. He goes, wait, think it's my Shabbat. Think it's my Shabbat. For my Shabbat, tell you do what you want. It's not my Shabbat. It's a kadosh baruch Shabbat. It's so terrible, it's so awful that this generous hand, wonderful heart attached to it, is going to be burned in Gainum forever. You see the Gdola Do almost a hundred years old starts crying, you do tshuva. Guy says, Kvod Arab, this Shabbat I'm keeping. But now I keep Shabbat. The Chafetz Chaim had no shortage of tests. When he was writing the Mishnah Brura, he had all types of tests. One day, his dear son got sick, really sick. Chafetz Chaim did not slow down. He knew that this Mishnah Bua has to be written. Sick, no sick, we got to do it. Why? Am Yisrael needs this Torah. Son died. Son died. You think? Chafetz Chaim said, okay, son died. That's it. Okay, finish, finished. I'm going back. I'm going to take care of the... Chafetz Chaim... Says out loud and people saw it. Says Yetzara, what do you think? That if you take my son's neshama, I'm going to stop teaching Torah? Stop helping the Am Yisrael? Dafka, I'm going to do more now. Dafka, we're going to publicize this book everywhere. And that's what he did. You have a bigger Yetzara than that? Baruch Hashem, Yetzara is not killing your firstborn son. And Bezat Hashem, he never will. But you see that when somebody deals with something that's going to help the the cloud, tests are enormous. The tests are enormous. The bigger the influence, the bigger the test. 